Welcome back to our coffee break. This is the time of year when we start reflecting back on everything that's happened and looking sort of toward next year, although some of you maybe like me, maybe you're just a little too worn out to be thinking about next year right now. <laughs> but as you go through the, the process of finalizing the year with your Tiger evaluation and having discussions with your primary evaluator, you're probably being asked to reflect on some of the things you did this year. What, what went right? What went wrong? What, what do you think might be something you want to improve on next year? And I've been doing that as well. And I got a few things right, I, and I got maybe more things wrong. Um, but, you know, my first year in the SLC and trying to feel my way around and get to know everybody, I, I think the years turned out better than 50 out of 100. Um, but there are two things that... I know that I want to work on next year. And so I'm just going to state it out here now. And for those of you who are in my SLC, you hold me accountable. Bring me back to this video if I don't try my darndest to do at least these two things. First of all is we've got to end the kids who decide that they can come to school at 9 or 9.30 in the morning. That's just got to end. School starts at 8.25, and these kids need to be in a classroom at 8.25. And I don't know yet what I'm going to do about it, but I do know that I'm going to track it a lot closer than I have been for the kids in our SLC, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. And those phone calls home to parents will start very early in the year. Um, the repercussions of their lateness is going to be made known to them very early in the year. And we're going to do our best to get kids out of our hallway and into classrooms. That's the first thing. And that, you know, that comes across, as I say it out loud, <laughs> that comes across like a campaign promise that may or may not ever get dealt with. That's not how I mean it. I want to help get those kids in your classrooms at the beginning of the day. That will go a long way, I feel like, toward getting kids in your classroom the rest of the day. We'll talk about that next year. The second thing that I have in mind that I want to do more of next year is before I consider Putting a, putting a kid in RLC for the day or before I consider putting a kid in ATS for the day, I want to have whatever teacher has uh, written the referral on that student, whether they're in our RLC or not, or in our SLC or not, is irrelevant. I want to have a restorative conference between that teacher and that student. And I want that restorative conference to start with one prerequisite. Before anything else, the teacher is there to listen. Seven habits of highly effective people. Seek first to understand before you worry about being understood. That's just the way it works. And a lot of times, I, I feel like we can resolve some issues very early on if the student feels heard and has the opportunity to listen to the teacher's side of the equation. I do not want to deal with, with many, if any, situations where I've got teachers and students butting heads and I'm supposed to be the one who puts the student in their place. That's not what I want to happen. And I have not used the restorative conference as much as I probably should have this year, but I can, I can bet you that next year it will be a much bigger weapon in my arsenal before I start taking kids out of classrooms for a day over certain things. 
that, that's my goal. Now, other administrators may not do this at all. I'm not talking about them. I'm not talking about anybody but me and the kids who are under my charge in Fullcom. So those two things, that's the reflection that I have so far. Uh, I probably will come up with 15 other things over the summer, but these are two glaring things that have hit me in the face at the end of this year. And I would be, I would not be doing myself any favors if I didn't attempt to tackle both of these issues. We're almost there and you're almost finished getting coffee time videos from me. We'll see you next week.